one of the most successful coaches in the history of college basketball. The legendary Bobby Knight has died at the age of 83. The Hall of Famer finishing his career with 902 wins in 42 seasons with three teams. Look at here, Bobby Knight just threw his chair clear across the free throw lane. Bobby Knight was one of basketball's biggest and most polarizing personalities. An intense, no-nonsense coach on the court. He could be aggressive off it. I'll handle this the way I want to handle it now that I'm here. You it up to begin with. After graduating from Ohio State, Knight enlisted in the Army to help lead their basketball program at West Point. He was head coach for six seasons before moving to Indiana in 1971, where he won three national championships and his team was undefeated in 1976. Knight also won a gold medal, coaching Michael Jordan and company in the 84 Olympics in Los Angeles. After 29 years, Knight's behavior strained his relationship with Indiana. In May of 2000, Knight was placed on a zero-tolerance policy after CNN aired a video of a practice three years earlier in which it appeared Knight placed his hand on a player's neck. But months later, Knight had an altercation with a freshman student on campus. That incident turned out to be the final straw for Knight at Indiana, and he was fired. Knight moved on to Texas Tech for seven seasons. After retirement, Knight, who had little patience for the media, became a media member himself, broadcasting college basketball games for ESPN. In February of 2020, after years of turning down invitations, Knight finally made his return to Indiana. And Indiana University paid tribute to Bobby Knight. His picture was on the jumbotron inside Assembly Hall as they observed a moment of silence before tonight's basketball game.